Welcome to a quick look at Project Cars 2, a racing simulation slash game that I've been pretty excited about. Uh, I like the first one, despite preferring a set of Corsa, and uh, I think they improved it in almost every aspect. So, if you have anything, uh, any affinity for car for cars, this is basically the game to get and um, yeah I'm not going to review it uh, but I'm going to do a showcase lap about my most favorite thing in this game snow so I'm using the Lancer uh, the 99 one, I think it's the 7, oopsie, touched him right there, and as you can see, the track is snow covered, and um, it's slightly snowing, and the AI is really taking the time, okay, almost stalled my car there, and um, yeah, I, th I think they got driving in snow, Um, I mean, it's, it's a bit easy, but I am using a all-drive car, despite without any traction control, but it's pretty low-powered, comparatively, so, um, shouldn't, it, it doesn't have that hard a time staying straight. But then the AI, which is set on a level that actually is pretty hard for me to beat on a dry track, especially one that I don't know, is driving a bit um, cautiously here, let's say. And yeah, what, what do I think about the game? I mean, as you can see, the snow looks stunning. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, Sh should have deactivated ABS by the way. Okay, now, it's, now they're picking up speed. Looks like it. But, um... The sound the tires make in the snow. Yeah, could you hear when they, when they lose traction? This, this skidding sound is really... Um, spot on. I mean, I live in Austria. I do occasionally drive in snow. So, yeah. The, the, the um, audio experience of this game is awesome. I mean, it's still not as good as Race Room, but sound-wise, it's still, it's pretty great. I think it's the second best out on the market right now, sound-wise, because uh, you got all those little nuances. You have the, um, the engine note. You have a distinct exhaust note. You have um, ear wine. You can hear the boost quite clearly. And um, unlike a set of Corsa, for example, when I turn my head, uh, the origins of the sounds st stay where they should be. They're not relative to my. Uh, they're, they're not simply stereo. I mean, they are simply stereo because it's stereo headsets. But still, um, they are pos they are positional. They're positional info. Great. Keep focusing on your lap time. And um, okay, getting lighter. Uh, the the time of day is not. Not the driving. And uh, yeah, graphics wise, it's really beautiful. But I still think Assetto Corsa looks a bit crisper. Uh, I mean, I have every, every detail maxed just for the sake of this video. Uh, I might turn down a few details because uh, sometimes it misses frames, especially if there's a full grid having a pile up in front. Um, Oh, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, and uh, especially the the wet effects and rain effects are pretty stunning. Um, snow as well in the sunshine. So yeah, why don't I show it off in this dreary weather? Okay, that was a bad shift. Sun seems to come up. 
Okay, a bit slidey fun. Yeah, you can actually, you know, I can catch slides now in Project Cars, which I couldn't do before. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really fun. The single clicker is really well done. Um, I wasn't able to get into any multiplayer races, but uh, that has been hot fixed. but I didn't try it out yet. So it has presumably been hot fixed. Um, if there's one gripe I have with the game, is that I like to do um, full length single player careers. Um, but if you skip to the end of a session, the resulting times of the Five AI drivers don't correlate to the difficulty you've set. So on my very first race, I uh, it was just the warm-up, so I didn't care too much. But the AI and myself were driving around 115 times on uh, was it Alton? I think it's Alton in the Ginetta Junior series. And um, yeah, after 20 minutes, I wrecked the car <laughs> and uh, skipped the session. And suddenly, all the AI cars were doing 18s, 19s, 110s. Um, but in qualifying, I didn't skip, and they were again about my level. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it's snowing pretty... Uh, I hope you can see it, because it's actually a quite subtle effect, but it's snowing pretty heavily right now. I think we have a full-blown blizzard on our hands right now. Um... Oops, it might, might have... Oh, no, no. Oh, you can even... You can even hear the, the ABS work. You can even hear the, the character... Correct... <laughs> I can't even speak anymore. The characteristic... Characteristic... Of the... Break. Yeah, again. Just hear it. This is nice. Yeah, it's... I mean, yeah, it's, it might not be the most realistic sim. But then, I'm not a race driver in real life. I've quite a hard time charging it, but it's pretty fun to drive. It feels right, it doesn't feel as floaty or as slippery, not even as snow. I mean, this on snow, well, still feeling like you're driving on snow, feels more connected to the road than Project Cars 1 ever did. Which is a pretty big achievement. Three minutes to go. The only thing that, that uh, I cannot uh, that I cannot recommend, despite me buying into it, is getting the game with a season pass because it's freaking expensive. Uh, and now the sun's coming out. Guess I don't need the windscreen wipers anymore. Yeah, it was too cautious here. But yeah, the AI, they, they doesn't, I think they can't, they can't really race in the snow. Because I've carefully balanced it to be challenging for me, yet not overwhelming. Meaning that if I, if I did one mistake in the dry, um, I would have to look really hard to... Um, keep up, or to, to take my position back. And I think the background noise you hear here is when you set a timed race, instead of a lapped race, um, I think if it approaches uh, the time limit. This sh is supposed to be crowd noise. I mean, there's a s there's some crowd here, but not too much. Oh no, 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 no! Don't don't oversteer into the snow. And yeah, in in the R. It's absolutely awesome. Mm. 
and yeah, you really feel like you're in, in the car, as, as it is in, with VR racing games. But I really like that, that you see your feet move according to the pedals you press. Oh fuck, I should shift. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't a fifth. I got minus three degrees. So, oh, those, those signs work. I don't think the clock's working. Uh, but I suppose the thermometer works. Yes, it does. Uh, quite a lot of attention to detail here. Yeah? But I didn't pay attention. Does he heal so? No, he does not heal so. Just moving his foot from one pedal to the next. So it's not proper. Oh, it's even representing right foot braking. Well oh, this really, is nice. Really it today. Great job. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, I think that was a respectable time in snow. Um, and on that. See you and good night.